I'm Dr. Zuri Morell, and I'm a colorectal surgeon in Los Angeles. And today we're going to talk about why are so many young people getting colorectal cancer? It's important to remember that most colorectal cancer actually occurs in people over the age of 50. However, we have seen a 12-fold increase in people younger than the age of 50 getting colorectal cancer. So much so that the United States Task Force has finally reduced the age where screening should start to 45. Now, it's important to remember when you hear that, screening means no family history, no bleeding, no symptoms of any type that could be associated with colorectal cancer. Now, when we talk about why are younger people getting it, we think it's multifactorial. Number one is obesity. Obesity is a huge epidemic, and obesity causes an inflammatory reaction in your body. And this inflammatory reaction your body spends so much time kind of fighting itself, it's not able to fight the changes that are going on in our body all the time. And it actually becomes a milieu for cancer to develop. And this is something that we've seen rising and rising. And actually about 75% of millennials will be obese by the age of 45. This is a incredibly large number and it's very scary. Obesity affects things in other ways because most of the time when we become obese or overweight, we're having a diet that is high in processed foods and high in fat, high in meat and low in fiber. Why is this important? So we're doing more and more research looking at the bacteria that make up our GI tract. And what we've noticed is when people get colorectal cancer, there are certain bacteria that are actually found overgrowth in that particular area. And we think that this has to do with what we consume. It may also have to do with antibiotics that are being given to this generation. We're still um, uh, doing research on that. But if we can decrease our rates of obesity, get physical activity and eat a diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables and very low in red meat, that will help tremendously. One other fact that you can do to help prevent colorectal cancer and polyps is vitamin D. Chronically in this country, many of us are low in vitamin D because vitamin D is made when we go outside and let the sun hit our skin. And it's important to remember if you're African-American, Latino, or if you're a browner complexion, you have to be in the sun a little bit longer because of melanin that protects us from the sun, but you have to be in the in outside a little bit longer so that you can activate and vitamin D can form. And vitamin D helps to fight colorectal cancer, and it helps to decrease the chance of you getting polyps or colorectal cancer. So these are some of the reasons and some of the thoughts um, behind why we think we're seeing such an increase in young people with colorectal cancer but hopefully I've given you some tips in order for you to help fight this and also to know your body very well, know your family history, which is very important because remember screening means there's no family history and there's no symptoms. But if you have a family history and if you have symptoms, you need a diagnostic colonoscopy and you need to see a specialist sooner than later. Thank you.